what a good game. Oh, man, that was such a good game. You have to say, Nick. I mean, it was pretty tight at points, and at some other points, it wasn't that tight. But then it got even better at the end, and the Leafs ended up winning it. Nick? Uh, you alive? You ever get that feeling where you don't know where to start? Yeah. Yeah, I get it. What is up guys, my name is Nicholas Gersal and welcome back to another video. Today, we are back as the Maple Leafs take a W, they beat the New York Rangers 8-5 in regular time. So, first things off, you're probably wondering what the heck I'm wearing. Um, funny story to, to, say, to actually tell. So yesterday I went to the Real Sports Bar and downtown Toronto by the ACC. And I was just sitting there, about second period about to start, and this lady comes up to me, and she says, we were looking for someone to give this, this away to, and she said I would be the perfect candidate. I, I don't know what that meant. <laughs> I guess my age, but because it doesn't fit me very well yet, but I will grow into it. So I'll show you what it is. It is basically a Maple Leafs, like, guess you could say onesie so basically all the way down is it's like the leaf socks and stuff like that it's really freaking cool awesome awesome thing to get thank you so much and I'll probably be wearing these in all the videos because why the heck not <laughs> so to actually start the hockey game as I said before I don't really know where to start I'm just gonna start from the first period and the first goal, I think that's most appropriate to start from. So, first goal. Mm -hmm. First goal of the season, sitting in that place, Real Sports Bar, you can tell that everybody is so pumped for the Leafs to score the first goal of the season. All of a sudden, the Leafs bust into the zone, taking shots, firing shots at Henrik Lundqvist. He's having a little bit of trouble. You can already smell a goal coming. A shot comes from the point. From Matt Hunwick, tipped on goal by Dominic Moore. That's the first one for Dominic Moore of the season. And it's at home where Toronto Maple Leafs should be scoring. So, that looks, pre that looks pretty good, right? Toronto's on top. You know, you know, Rangers rush into the zone and, you know, they take a couple shots. And then, and then uh, Andrew Miller tips it. Oh, sh Andrew Miller! So yeah, JT Miller, actually. <laughs> Andrew Miller. JT Miller tips in front. It is one to one. And we are no longer winning as the Maple Leafs. Toronto then finds a way to get past the Rangers again. So the Rangers are trying to break out the puck. And they do a pretty good job up to the red line. And instead, the Maple Leafs take the puck. Who is there to take the puck? It is Zach Hyman. Very good right winger. I'm so happy he is on Matthew's line. He deserves to be on Matthew's line. After playing so well with Kadri and Leo, and Leo Komarov, excuse me, last season. So, Zach Hyman breaks it to the zone. Deeks between two guys. He deeks out two guys. Then goes on Henrik Lundqvist. Big stop by Lundqvist. Then they're trying to break it out again. Hy Hyman takes the puck again. Goes for a little jog. Gets around Lundqvist. That's the second goal. 2-1 to one for Toronto. About not even that far after. This, this was a crazy game. Not even that far after, Toronto is on the power play. Now, this is where the, one of the things that I have to say, I don't really... I don't know, I don't feel comfortable with saying it, but... Jake Gardner actually had a very nice goal. And I like to call him Knucklehead, just because he's always that guy to cough up the puck at the blue line. He's doesn't keep the puck in, and it's just like, oh, knucklehead, come on, keep the puck in the zone, right? But this time, he really stunned me. Jake Gardner goes from one end to the other and scores the most beautiful goal probably of his career. <laughs> probably not, but it was a very nice goal. He comes through, deeks out one at the red line, deeks two at the other blue line, 
goes on short side to Henrik Lundqvist. It's three to one, and let's see another one. So the Leafs, every single time it, they were in the zone, whatever you want to say, every time they were in the zone of the New York Rangers, it kind of looked like they're on a power play <laughs> every time. It was very, very exciting to watch them play this period. And I'll get into the other stuff in one moment. So, lots of shots on net. Leo Comro fires one off, hits the post. They bring it back around. Ron Hazy doesn't want to take a shot. He's like, you have this, you got this Nikita Zaitsev. He's like, okay, I'm going to take the shot. He actually scores, and it's 4-1 to one now. Oh my goodness. The Maple Leafs were playing hard. And then right after, about a couple minutes later, the Leafs break in the zone once again. This is a play that we've been doing against the Rangers the entire game in the first period. And the end of the game. We'll get that we'll get to that later. But the Rangers are trying to get the puck out and it sneaks in the Lundquest pads. Digging in was William Nylander. It actually went off a defender and Nylander got credit for the goal. That is five to one. Exiting. The first oh wait, the the Rangers scored? Oh. Five two. Exiting the first period. Now for these goals, I don't really need sorry. Now, for these goals, I really don't need to uh, tell you how they scored them, because I'm not a Rangers fan. I'll just show you why it happened. So, about three of those goals yesterday, three of the goals I'm telling you right now by the Rangers in that second period were screenshots. Every single goal. Who was in front of the net? It was either Miller or it was Shattenkirk for some reason. Shattenkirk got in front of the net. Or it was any other Rangers player. Any player that got in front of the net, it was a power play. And this is the problem for the Maple Leafs. This is also a very big problem for the Leafs. Because they get into this thing in the first period where they score lots of goals. Just like my very, uh, I'm very, the very YouTuber that I'm fond of, Steve Dangle. He says the Leafs get into a big scoring motion and then... Let's just stop playing that way, and that's not how they need to think. They need to keep shutting down the team, because if they stop playing that way, all momentum's gone, the other team is going to start scoring, and you're in big trouble. So the Leafs need to remember, let's not take our foot off the gas. Let's slightly take our foot off the gas, but at the same time, keep it on the gas so we're still moving. You get what I mean? So, 5-5. Five, five. <laughs> going into the third period. This is crazy. For the Maple Leaf to score their next goal, it took about 10 minutes for them to actually start getting chances. Not 10 minutes, maybe like 7. 7 minutes into the period, the Leafs were actually getting some nice chances, and I was feeling the goal. I felt the goal 7 minutes into the period, and just about 8 minutes left in the period, 12 minutes left in the period, about 8 minutes into the period, the Leafs are doing a lot better than they did in the second. This was one of these goal this was one of these goals that I got really happy about when the Leafs scored it. Basically, all in the offensive zone, the Leafs look like they're on the power play again. They used to they somehow found a way to do that against the Rangers. Jake Gardner wraps around the side, puts it in front for Tyler Bozak. It's 6-5. I can't do it. 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6-5, and the Maple Leafs are beating the New York Rangers. It is time for the Leafs to destroy. Now, when this happened, this goal, I don't think a lot of people realized that it didn't go in at first. So, what a goal. This goal was me going, <sighs> settle down now. <laughs> I even did it to my dad. I'm like, <sighs> when he's like, yeah, yeah, we can do that now. We can breathe. So... The Maple Leafs, again, breaking in the zone. They seem to do this a lot. Everybody does this to score. I mean, it just makes sense. Dump and, dump and chase, dump and chase, right? It's how you score. So, the Maple Leafs bust into the zone, and they have a chance to score. Austin Matthews sets up William Nylander. Nylander goes for it on the backhand. He goes top shelf. And nobody notices Leo Komarov right there to knock in the puck. Now, this is where it gets interesting. When they go on video review, they go to see that William Nylander's shot actually didn't go in. It hit the crossbar and came back out. 
if Leo Komarov did not tip that puck in after they thought Nylander scored, it would have been 6-5. The refs would have called it off. So thank you, Uncle Leo, for scoring that goal. Thank you so much. The Leafs then went to score a power play goal at the end of the game. And that was the final. 8-5 for the Maple Leafs. And I am so happy they won that game. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, smash that like button or just tap it lightly. And then subscribe for more because I will always be here every Leaf game. I promise you that. And that is all I have to say. I hope you did enjoy this video and I'll see you guys soon. Take it easy, guys.